Welcome to Nicholas 11 x 12 Today I'm finally going to compare the Intel i3-6100 Skylake dual-core processor with the previous generation i3-4150. Yes, I know I'm a bit late to the party, but I've only gotten the chance to test these CPUs just now. So what we are going to do today is compare two very attractive CPUs in terms of pricing, the new one and the older one. The price point is very similar, with the i3-6100 costing just a little bit more. But does that also apply to the offered performance? Well, let's see. Wow, I certainly did not expect such results. Yeah sure, I knew Skylick is a good release by Intel, but at that lower price point for CPUs I didn't expect much of an improvement compared to last year's i3 CPU. But it seems we were proven wrong. The i3-6100 does indeed offer quite a lot more performance frames per second in games. Well worth the little price premium. When talking about CPUs, it's not always just about gaming. Rendering is an important aspect too, and compared to the 4150, this new 6100 even manages to shine at tasks such as video image editing and productivity stuff in general. Of course we can't expect huge improvements, but this Skylark generation tends to show some fascinating performance gains overall, at least from what I've seen and tested so far. Temperatures are no concern at all, therefore no need to even include these in the charts. The i7-6700K and the i5-6600K are both very power efficient CPUs, and I expected a nice drop in power consumption with the i3-6100 too, but that wish kinda remains a wish. Sure, somewhat less power draw, but nothing really worth mentioning. The power consumption remains about the same, which don't get me wrong, is still pretty good. After all, we get to see good performance gains with the same power draw. So without any doubt, Intel did a good job with their new i3-6100 processor. Coming from an i3-4150, not worth upgrading at all, of course. But if you're building a completely new PC, make sure to go for the new Skylark platform, as it also comes with neat features besides extra performance. And that pretty much wraps this comparison video up. I hope I made you see the differences a bit clearer now. Stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and visit my website to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.